And a very, very warm welcome to Sunny Leone, who's joined us over here today and made this conference even more special. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause to her. Thank you so much. Um, so, Sunny, we're going to, you know, since you're here and, you know, you, you're doing so much work. You're doing so much work as an actress. You're doing so much work as an entrepreneur. Which role is it that you're really liking? And, you know, how do you, how do you sort of balance both these roles? There's so much to do for you at, at the end of the day. I, I think the most fulfilling thing would be uh, creating something new, being an entrepreneur. Um, my husband and I have been working so hard for so long, and I'm sure there's many people here who will agree with me. When you see this small something, whether it's a product or a brand or an idea or a thought or a dream, and you watch it from the ground up grow, I, it is the best, I just got goosebumps, it is the best feeling to watch something, you know, that is a dream or, or an idea and all of a sudden it's in your hands now. Um, so that's the most fulfilling. <laughs> so, you know, you're a global star. You, you've, uh, you've lived in Canada most of your life and then you moved to India. Um, so as a celebrity, as a star, what was it that prompted you to sort of come to India and then, of course, to come into Bollywood, which is very, very competitive by its own self, and also then to be an entrepreneur? Um, so what, what prompted you to be a, uh, to your shift from uh, Canada to India? Um, my shift from the U.S. to here uh, was not something that I planned. It wasn't something that I said, hey, let's go to India tomorrow and work. Um, that wasn't you know, the plan in my head. Um, but my husband was talking to Colors, which is Big Boss, and um, that's, you know, how it happened. I said yes to the show, and the rest is history. <laughs> and now I'm here, and um, been here for a very long time now. And uh, the entrepreneur part, I was the little kid that went door to door selling things to people. So my first business was shoveling snow, and um, making lemonade for, I think the most I ever made, shoveling snow was $3. It was a great day because that meant 300 pieces of candy. Um, I was very young. And <laughs> so lemonade is, is another thing that, you know, as a child that, you know, it's great to own your own lemonade stand. Um, so now you're today over here at the Labels Conference and the License India show, and you're launching the infamous line of cosmetics. Also, you're um, doing the poise fashion uh, wear line, and you're a fashion diva yourself. So what does really fashion mean to you? To you, what does it imply, and you know, how does it don and make a woman more beautiful? Sure. I'm just going to correct the names of the, the products or the brands. Uh, the first one is Starstruck which is a cosmetic line that my husband and I launched uh, last year, and it's doing, thank God, very well, and we're very happy. Women are happy uh, wearing my product. It's something that, again, that I worked really hard on. I tested the products myself for over the last, I, I can't even tell you um, for how long. It's a little obsessive <laughs> to make sure that it's perfect. And um, the innerwear lingerie, uh, is something that we're going to launch next, and it'll be called Infamous um, Lingerie by Sunny Leone. So I'm excited about that. That's something that is new and exciting and, you know, the next step. Sure. So, you know, um, so ladies and gentlemen, for some of you who don't know out here, she is the most Google star celebrity in the world. And when you have that kind of global following and when you have that kind of fandom, uh, not just in India, but outside India as well, you have a huge responsibility that comes with it. You know, they always look up to you and expect you to do something on everything which is probably going to make them happy, but at the same time, uh, they, it puts a serious amount of responsibility on you. So whenever you take a brand or you take any kind of endorsement, how do you sort of balance this? You know, how do you balance your fandom to say that, while it has to be commercially manageable, but it also has to be responsible to my fans. Um, if it's a brand that I don't own and that I'm endorsing, it just, for me, it has to be something that I like or I would use or that is not going to cause harm, bodily harm, to anyone um, 
physically and then also emotionally you don't want to hurt anybody uh, so that's pretty simple to say yes or no to um, both you know everybody in my team we all agree that certain products are no-nos and we don't um, endorse those at all as far as um, products that we've created and things that we're we're working on um, it's all about passion I think everybody here who's in business understands that just as much as I do um, that if you have a passion for something and you love doing something then I mean you're gonna work hard because you love it you're going to push it more you're gonna push it out there more than the next person who has the same item that you do but there's no heart so um, everything that we're working on is something that I believe in my husband believes in or my team Sure. So do you, I mean, the, the products that you support, they are environment friendly? Um, so My anyway. cosmetic line? Absolutely. No animals were hurt uh, while making Starstruck. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we love to know the more personal side of you. You're a mother. Um, you also do a lot of other charitable ventures. So tell us a little more about yourself. I mean, you know, how do you sort of, I mean, there's so much responsibility on you in your own professional career, but as a person, and on your personal side, what is it that you like to do and what is it that you... Well, this morning I launched a, um art school slash learning center slash library. Um, that's something my Daniel and I, who, if you didn't know his name, uh, my husband and I have been working on for a while now. And uh, we had a... Our daughter has a passion for art and being creative. And so then we decided we should open up an art school. So that's what I was doing this morning. And I was using my magical chabuk, and I <laughs> was getting everybody in line this morning, <laughs> uh, making sure everything was perfect. Um, being a mom is definitely, for mothers out there, and even fathers who are extremely active with their children, um, it's very difficult to keep children busy. How are you going to keep them busy? You put them in one place where they can learn, they can play, and they can also be creative. So, so that's what, what we created. How did the art, art school idea really come up for you? I mean, it it came you? through our daughter, Nisha, who we adopted almost two years ago. And she has a real passion for painting and arts and crafts. I mean, if you walked into this little child's room, from floor to ceiling is all her artwork that she has worked on or made and then I have drawers full of her artwork as well so really the I the idea is simply her passion towards um, the arts you know how, how do you feel about Indian women you know what is your message to them that if they were to be financially independent how do they sort of what what do they need to do how do they find the power in themselves because Indian women have typically been very home bred and you know they love to be in their homes but it's important for a woman to be financially independent I think that's absolutely changing um, right now I meet so many different women out there and young girls and um, different Millennials who are aspiring to be something that they you know dream of right. or um, women out there who work extremely hard so I think that that's absolutely changing and it's probably about about time we say that a woman's not oppressed anymore. She's working towards, you know, her own freedom as a woman, whether it's working or being a stay-at-home mom. I know I have a lot of respect to those women who stay home and take care of their children. It's not easy. Can I just say that? I'll say it again. It is not easy keeping children entertained all day and keeping them safe and feeding them and giving them baths and changing their diapers and doing those one million things that you have to do. So those stay-at-home moms, even though they're not, let's say, working in an office, they are definitely working extremely hard at home. Sure. Um, so, Sunny, my question to you is that 10 years down the line, what do you see yourself doing? You have such a huge celebrity status today and for women particularly we've always known in Bollywood that you know once you sort of cross a certain age threshold uh, you have to be finding your own um, essence your own power to be able to continue that celebrity status so 10 years down how do you see yourself uh, what do you see yourself doing 
um, how do you want to or what other areas of business or, or activities do you want to see yourself doing? Um, well, I hope I'm still doing exactly what I'm doing today is talking in front of amazing people who understand business and understand brand values and want to work towards making great products. Um, that's where I see myself. Yes, being on screen does end at some point. I have no idea when that's going to happen. It's usually when everything goes south here. <laughs> um, so um, the plan is to just work through these ideas and these creative thoughts that I have or my husband has or as a team collectively that we think, okay, this is missing in the market or this is something that I, we can tap into and we know that um, people will, will respond well. Um, you know, makeup is easy for me. Um, creating fragrances was easy for me. Um, this school is absolutely amazing. wasn't easy, but... Um, it's been so much fun when the doors open and you see children and they come in and they're playing and it's amazing. Um, and the next is, you know, lingerie, innerwear. Why does innerwear or lingerie have to be this big secret? Why can't it be this commercial idea that, let's say, a Victoria's Secret has created? No one here will say the word Victoria's Secret and go, Ay, ye kya bol rahe? Ye kya ho rahe? Ye lingerie ke baare mein baat kare? Hai, hai. No one's, why do we have to say that? Oh, no, 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 I am not. So these silly thoughts, I think, should end. It shouldn't be something that um, we should hide to do as women. I think we should be able to do that and say, okay, husband or boyfriend or friend, I know this is boring. I'll meet you in 20 minutes. I'm going to go buy myself some really nice lingerie or innerwear or uh, loungewear, whatever it is, and be able to do that without feeling scrutinized. So that's something that I'm very excited about. So near since morning, we've actually been talking about a lot of different form of content that is being produced today. And with OTT and digital platforms, there is a whole new opportunity that has opened up for content production. Do you see yourself um, doing something similar, maybe a series on um, a Netflix or an Amazon Prime? Um, and do you see an opportunity uh, for lots of other stars to be able to sort of maximize their time um, in, um, um, I would say, in prime time entertainment through them? I think that anything digital is something that it's, it's here. It's not happening or it's not just beginning. It's here in India. Um, there was a time where, you know, I would hear, oh, I don't know about digital or, oh, I don't know about being on social media or, oh, I don't know about this type of content, whether I should produce it or, you know, be a part of it. And it's going out, only out to the digital world this is the time. If you're not on that train, you're going to miss it. And I think that a lot of uh, different celebrities out there or artists out there that aren't using this to the, its full capacity, I mean, they're just saying bye-bye crores of money. What's wrong with them? <laughs> um, so I think that it's, it's something that an artist or someone who wants to express themselves should definitely tap into this market if they haven't already. Um, I know as a team and as our entire company, you know, digital is our base. This is, you know, this is where a lot of, you know, my viewerships come from or a lot of our sales through uh, Starstruck and um, Lust, which is a, a fragrance line and Starstruck as well. You know, a lot of these things are sold online and it does absolutely amazing. We're looking at, you know, one click buys. You know, it's amazing. Or, you know, cash on delivery. Who doesn't love cash on delivery? <laughs> um, the greatest thing ever. I mean, in America, they don't even have cash on delivery. I love it. Um, so I think that if you're an artist out there, you're a celebrity out there, you're somebody who wants to get their voice out there, start using the tools that are right in front of you. And, you know, I think, I think they should use it. Sure. And um, see, do you see yourself also producing something or these series in the coming times? You, uh, you could be, I mean, you already are a producer. And do you see yourself doing something similar? 
Um, as far as uh, television series or digital series, I'm not too sure about film. Uh, I do have something in the pipeline. We'll see how it goes, whether it gets sold digitally first or whether it gets sold um, to be in theaters first. We'll, we can all, we'll decide that later. Um, but, it's, but it's in the pipeline. Story is done. Production is, you know, it's on pace. <laughs> sure. You know, this is a personal question, and we all go through different moments in life. Um, you've seen a lot of successes, but I'm sure you've also seen a lot of failures. So what, what, what did... What learnings did they give you? What was it that you sort of learned from them and it made you stronger as you went along? So since I've come to India, it's a lot of people that, you know, wish that I wasn't here or upset that I'm not here or um, we don't see eye to eye on our opinions of life. Um, and it's those people that try and tear you down or it's those people that file up the most weird like stories and you know make make up really weird crazy stories and there have been some moments that have been not so fun um, but through those we were able to grow a team that is extremely strong and resilient and be able to work on the fly when things don't go so well or people are making up lies and how are we going to combat um, some of these things. A lot of nonsense we don't address. Serious nonsense, you know, you have to. Um, but there's nothing that you can do about it. It's like hitting a speed bump. It's like stopping at a red light. The light's going to turn green and you are going to have to keep moving forward in life. And that's the only thing you can do because if you let those people tear you down, and you let those people stop you, or you let them scare you into leaving the country or say, no, that's it, I, I, I can't handle it anymore, I need to go home, then they win. They win. I don't. I go home. I'm the loser. I'm the one that has to then suffer. They don't suffer. They just find their next target. So that's not an option for me. And that's not an option for my team. That's not an option for my husband. That's not an option at all to quit or say this is not working or say, okay, fine, let's go back to the U.S. Those people are a dime a dozen and they're like little leeches that will keep coming at you. You know, leeches and cockroaches, they don't really die that easily. You can smash them, you can cut them in half. Nothing happens. They just keep going. So maybe we should learn something from them and keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a big thought and indeed um, the right one too. So, you know, finally we're going to ask you, you're, you're one of the most followed stars on social media. So what, is this something you can teach us all about how to manage a good social media? Get your media? selfie game going? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, everybody uses social media for different reasons. I don't, like, my real name is Karanjeet. Karanjeet, who's at home, who's making aluke parante for my children, and who has throw up on half my body or other weird things, is not what you know people see. It's not what they see on social media. So what is shown on social media is a brand, is um, something that we're pushing forward um, to create and make bigger. So there's definitely a difference. Know the difference between the brand and a person. If you're a person on social media just promoting yourself, then hey, go for it. Selfies, TikTok, you know. I know everybody's here. Everybody here has done their funny TikTok videos. Um, <laughs> but as a brand, I Have think... Have you done it? Oh, yes. <laughs> um, many times. Um, but I think as a brand, you just have to keep pushing, you know, your products out there and be relentless. It might be annoying, but you know, it's a numbers game. So a lot of people who will agree with me that it's a numbers game. You just got to get a certain amount of people to look at your product and press that button. <laughs> so a final word to all our audience and to all everybody out there who is young and vibrant and wanting to make it as an entrepreneur. Um, my only final words is follow your passions stick with it and don't give up because 
if you want to launch something, you want to create something, you know you have something different or amazing, then there's no room for quitting. There's no room for slowing down. There's no room to not hustle. Um, I know there's a lot of young people out there that say, Are, mere papa ye business mein hai, main wo hi kar lunga, wo theek hai. Um, but that doesn't work anymore. The child needs to work. The, you know, the young adult needs to go after everything that the father or the mother had went after. And if they don't, then it just falls wayside. So uh, if you're a young person out there that wants to achieve, some, achieve something like, you know, uh, I don't know, let's say Nike um, has. Nike didn't get there from you know, sitting on their couch wishing their father would tell them what to do or their mother would tell them what to do. They went out, they hustled, they worked, they persevered. Um, they worked 24 hours a day. And if you want it, you got to go out and get it. Thank you very much, Sunny.